Dude, the poor wire. Uh oh. Hey everybody, this is Alex with Onsite. How are you doing today? Are you guys enjoying this beautiful weather? Crazy. It feels like it's almost summer. At least yesterday was really hot. Well, today we uh, really feel grateful for uh, our situation. We got some work lined up. Uh, one minute you feel like a zero, and another minute you feel like a hero. And uh, right now I feel like a hero. I got a couple of jobs that we we're doing. We're doing a an extensive scratch removal on a big truck. And I'm not going to go through all the stupid details. If, if you guys want to know more, just PM me, contact me through Facebook. If you want to do it yourself, I could walk you through it. I just want to give you an overview. Marcy's going to pan into this truck, and I'll be talking while she does. The owner of this truck went on to uh, a deer lease and went hunting. And uh, unfortunately, he came home with what we call Texas pinstripes. You know what that is. For those who been on deer leases as you can see the scratches are not super deep but they're they're deep enough to where it requires buffing and the customer was very concerned because he had buffing done on another vehicle before and uh, whoever he had do the work left a lot of holograph marks or swirl marks and um, so I listened and talked to the customer and found out uh, what he expected and basically he says if, if, if you can get the, uh, the scratches to be softer, I would rather have that than buff it real hard and leave a lot of swirls. So I have the vehicle parked in such a way that I'm buffing in the shade and I'm using clean pads and I'm using the right pad with the right compound and we'll go to the other side because can't see my face. Okay, maybe my cap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I guess my bill was in the way. We'll go to the other side. I have the vehicle turned in a way that the sun is is turned directly on the finish side. So you already saw the side that still has scratches. Let's go ahead and go on the other side, and you'll get to see. Come on. Well, I say that, but the sun moved. But there is some sunlight. Go ahead and pan in there. Uh, where? Come back, the whole side. I'm uh, looking for scratches? Yeah, there's no scratches. There's no scratches. We on it. So, like, for example, this this fender, for example, look just like the other fender. So, if go back to the other fender and you'll get to see. And there's no holograph marks. Come on over here. Let me put a little shade on here. Can you see the scratches? Right along there? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's go back over to the other side. And look down the whole side of the truck. No scratches. Okay, do an overview. As you can see, the sun is directly on. Glossy. The panels, the door panels, and the big panels. And so if there were any holograph marks, you would definitely see them. And as you can see, there are no holograph marks, or very little. Um, and the reason why is because we took the time. Uh, really, sometimes we're in a rush, and it's happened to me, uh, I'll admit, rushed a job and left swirls, and, um, but if you take your time uh, to do it and you keep your pads clean and you go through and go to a finer pad and a finer compound and uh, end up putting a wax on it, it turned out beautiful. So if you're interested in doing this yourself, or if you want a professional to do it, give us a call. Uh, that's it. Thanks for your time.